I used to uh, tinker around on my dad's farm with uh, timber and whatnot, and just just knew it was in me to actually be a builder. So hence it worked my way up the corporate ladder and got into building high rise. My second innings, uh, got a few miles under, uh, under the belt. Time to uh, slow down a little bit and go for tiny homes instead. I personally think tiny houses is a way of the future. Uh, a client that came in who was a single mum and uh, she walked into our tiny home and she's just started crying because all of a sudden she could see a future. Rick, hello. Hey Bree, how you going? Good. Huh? How are you? Good. Well, I'm here. We are so far from Sydney. I'm quite intrigued though because I can see a staircase up there. Instead of a 7.2 metres long, we actually got an 8.2. Uh, what that does, that allows us to put in three bedrooms, two bedrooms upstairs and uh, another bedroom downstairs. So that staircase you see, that's going up to the master. I would like to see all three of these bedrooms. I'm going to count them because if you've fit three bedrooms in here, I'm yeah. going to be seriously impressed. Yeah, yeah, well, let's go and have a look let's and check go. it out. Wow, this is bigger, nicer and brighter than I thought it was going to be. And there's that staircase you saw outside. Absolutely, isn't it nice? It's really wide, really good size. You haven't compromised anywhere. Our tiny homes are three metres wide instead of 2.4, but that also allows us to go to 4.6 metres high, which means upstairs, guess what? Even with your heels on, you're going to stand up. Okay, the only thing, storage, where is it? Everywhere there could be a void area, we try to put in drawers, okay? So as you walk up the stair, we have drawers, press button, drawers, so there's, there's storage everywhere in the tiny home because we don't want to waste that space. Like We're limited in, in the building envelope, so now it's about maximising the space so you can fit as much in as possible into your tiny home, but to make it convenient to use as well. Standing here, I can really visualise what it'd be like to cook a meal. The view from out here is incredible. Cafe-style windows open up, but also the ceiling height here. It's just so nice. Like, I feel like I'm in a house. I've completely forgotten that we're essentially on a trailer. Yeah, sure. When you walk into our homes, you're walking straight into a four metre ceiling height. Straight away, it just gives that open feel. And I think psychologically, you don't feel claustrophobic. You know? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. couldn't agree more. Now, I am dying to see this master bedroom because you've promised that I could fit a king bed in here, so I'd love to see it. Rick, you're a man of your work because I was promised full height ceilings with heels on and a cowboy hat and well, tick tick with Dumbo. Hey, we've done it, <laughs> we made it, eh? And that was one of my fundamental things, getting into tiny homes, um, that I wanted like as if I designed it as if I was going to be living in it. Yeah, and yeah. from what you've told me, there's so many different things you can do pending how you want to use a house, how you want to live. Like very custom, which is so cool. You can't do that. That's well, right. it's a luxury to be able to do yeah. that at the best of time. Well, we class all of our homes as a custom home. So we have set designs and what our clients do, they'll choose a design that sort of mostly suits their family environment. And then from there, we customise it with window sizes and maybe skylights and aircon and fireplaces and all this sort of thing. So we can custom the home to actually really fine tune it to suit people's needs, you know? Thank you so much for showing me through this tiny house. I've got to say, oh, you've changed my opinion of tiny homes. I want one now. Yeah, fantastic. I'll give you a call. Get the paperwork out. <laughs> Thanks, Rick. <laughs> I've stayed in tiny houses before and I always love them, but I leave thinking I couldn't live here full time. But this one's different. It's not just a tiny house, it's a tiny home.